Zozo, which I'm getting like kind of a Wesley Snipes type shaft feel. You mix with a little Samuel L. Jackson for some spice. And everything nice. What are you talking about? Alright fellow YouTubers, Deadpool 2002 here this time actually doing a review on the Marvel Legends Blade figure. I have waited so long for a new Blade figure. Darn, got the Blade logo at the top. Then here we got Blade on the side looking cool. I got a bow head. Alright, sometimes Marvel Legends actually completely nails the pose for the figure on the box. And for Blade, they actually did it. This looks dope and it's very cool to see how he's holding that blade. Henry Air Brooks adopts the name Blade and uses mastery martial arts to fight and defeat supernatural and often blood sucking opponents. Blood sucking. Alright, and here are the rest of the figures from the wave. And all I have to say is that I'm very happy with this wave because I actually haven't bought any other of these figures yet because I plan to watch the Netflix shows first. But it does feel good to know that once I watch them, if I do want them, they are already on the shelf. Let's open it up! Alright, and here's Blade actually out of the box. This figure looks very good. I actually decided that I like this head sculpt more because I like the way the hair looks. And I do love how he actually has shades and I like the toy biz ones that. Those broke off and then we had tape to hold them up. I like how these are sculpted in there. I like the goatee. It looks very good. The black skin is actually a little shiny, but, you know, not that bad. He has the same sword as Deadpool, but I do like how they did the body sculpt. Like, his sleek torso for the armor just looks really cool, and it's very cool. I like how they did his arms. Like, it seems like he's the right size for Blade. I'm very content that this figure actually does not have a cape. I do like how he has all the little wooden sticks around him, the wooden stakes. That, those look really cool. It has his little strap that's very secure for the sword. I do like how he has some little metal type of weapons here on the side of the thigh. Like to me, this is a figure that's actually very simple. It doesn't have a lot of extra shading and, you know, it has some detail, but it's still very cool and dope and it's very unique. And the pants are actually a dark blue, so the colors are not completely the same throughout the whole figure. The belt buckle looks very clean and the paint for the silver is not sloppy. And the legs look like, you know, like maybe the top of the boot shouldn't be the same color. And the feet are a little small, but they don't actually give you an issue as far as trying to make the figure stand. But they actually did a very good job and they nailed this figure and I will be taking the way they had it on the box. So I will always have him like holding a sword just like how he is and he has the articulation for it. And I really do feel like they did a good job. So overall it's a plain figure, very simple, but it's perfect just how it is. And here's Blade. Here's next to Loki. Then here's next to Deadpool. Hmm? Hey, you stole my sword! What? You can clearly tell the sheath on yours is red. While the ones on mine is yellow. Don't get it twisted. What? You think I stole it because I'm black? No, no, it's not anything like that. It's just, it's the same exact sword. And what do you look like under that mask? Uh, I guess you would say one would see me as very, very fleshy. Mm, never mind. Excuse me, y'all do know you're in the presence of a god, right? I am Loki. Oh, you should have before I get Hulk to come put you back in your place. Well, I'm leaving. Not because I'm scared of him, just... I don't want to deal with him. So, so with you, I'm getting like kind of a Wesley Snipes type shaft feel. You mix with a little Samuel L. Jackson for some spice. And everything nice. What are you talking about? Honestly, I don't even know. Well, looks like I might have to cut that mouth off then. Bring it on! But where have I seen that pose before? Hmm... Oh yeah, it's on your box! Oh my god, look at the haircut. I'm glad you came with a second head. Hey, okay, Caleb, I have a question. What, Deadpool? So I got like these guns and these grenades and all this. Why am I using a sword right now? I mean, I do really like my swords, but it'd be easier with the guns. Nah, it's just, it's really cool. You don't really get that many figures that have a sword, so I want y'all to fight. But you gotta like keep your guard up. He can hit you at any moment. No, don't worry. I think I'll be fine. Just let me take care of this and everything will be A-OK. -okay. Deadpool, you really need to- <laughs> No, I know what you guys are thinking. Deadpool Toys 1 too. I thought this was a kid show, but that guy just turned me into a freaking kebab. Oh, my insides hurts. I tried to tell you. <laughs> well, at least he didn't slice my head off this time. Still alive. So he is a vampire. Gotta finish this quick. It's okay, calm down, Blade. No, 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 baby. Once again, Deadpool was sliced off from limb to limb and turned into a shish kebab. But it didn't really matter because he just healed. Hard to feel sorry for someone when they're just gonna heal. Well, anyway, the end. But this has been a review of the Blade figure. I'm glad that I finally am able to pick this up. This is a very nice figure. It's just simple and just perfect. Like, they really nailed it to me. I love the figure. Love how it is. And it's cool to me that it doesn't even have the uh, jacket that it usually has. But this has been a review by Devil Toys 2. I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.